everyone, my name is Hallie Smith and I am a sophomore here at Texas State University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie-dye and reverse tie-dye. Um, this kit was at Hobby Lobby for $21 and it includes eight squeezable bottles containing dye so all you have to do is add water and then shake, six protective gloves, 30 rubber bands, and a project guide. In the reverse tie-dye kit, this comes with four squeeze bottles containing color changers. So once again, all you have to do is add water and shake, um, 30 pairs of protective gloves, 30 rubber bands, and also a project guide. For the reverse tie-dye kit, I decided to get a black t-shirt. And I also got this at Hobby Lobby. And then for the regular tie-dye kit, I went with a white t-shirt. Both of the shirts were $4.27. I'm going to go and choose three colors from the tie-dye kit. Um, the colors are black, egg and sea, blue, royal blue, sky blue, purple, violet, and fuchsia. I'm going to go ahead and choose sky blue, fuchsia, and royal blue. I'm going to go fill those up with water and I'll be right back. So these are what the bottles look like and as you can see in the bottom, there's already dye in there so all I'm going to do to each bottle is add some water and then shake. Hi everyone, so I'm back with the bottles and I went ahead and put a glove on while I was filling up the bottles with water because the water was splashing out and dye was getting everywhere. So just kind of be cautious with that. Um, as you can see, there's still dye at the bottom of the bottles. So I would go ahead and just shake it really great and as hard as you can and get all that dye mixed up very well. So once you stop shaking your bottles, you can go ahead and take the project guide and open it and look through it and decide which style you like the best. And if you don't like any of them, that's okay. You can go ahead and just design the shirt how you want to by rolling it up different ways and being creative with it. It's your own style. It's your shirt. You can do what you like. With this, I'm going to take it, what I'm going to do is take it from the center and fold it around like a pinwheel. This is one of the most common ways I've seen people tie-dye their shirts. And then I'm going to take one of the provided rubber bands and just rubber band it a lot. And it doesn't matter how you rubber band it, you can rubber band it wherever, how many you want, however you like. This can be kind of like how you divide the colors off also. So I used six rubber bands and this is how my t-shirt turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves back on and get ready to tie dye. So now that I have my gloves on, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pink just because the pink's my favorite color. And I'm going to just go crazy with it and put it wherever I want. And be ready because this is going to be messy. move it around just so the tie-dye will soak in. And after I do that, I'm going to get another color. The next color I'm going to use is sky blue. And once again, I'm going to put it wherever, anywhere on the shirt. It doesn't matter. I'm also leaving a little white showing on the areas that I tie-dye it so it also has some white from the shirt. Once I finish that section, I'm going to go ahead and take the royal blue and do the next.
go back to the pink and split the pink and the sky blue section. And last I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to sp split the pink and the sky blue in one section. go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like if I don't like something then I'll fill it in with dye to the reverse tie-dye kit. So in this one, they come with four squeeze bottles containing color changer. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And this is how the bottles look like. And each one of them comes with these little tips. And you can go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up one of the color changers just because I have one shirt. But if you have more than one shirt, go ahead and fill up two bottles, three bottles, whatever you feel is needed. Once you get the bottle filled with water, go ahead and shake your bottle because the mixture will be at the bottom and we want the mixture evenly dispersed in the water. Once the mixture is mixed well, go ahead and tie your shirt the way you'd like with rubber bands. I did the same tie off as the last shirt with the pinwheel style where I just grab the shirt in the center and twist. bottle and have the mixture go wherever you'd like. Also, keep in mind that the mixture does contain bleach, so try and keep the mixture away from the clothes that you're wearing right now.
Once you apply the mixture, you'll start to see a difference within a few minutes, but I'd wait a couple hours for a better turnout. Once again, my name is Hallie Smith, and today I showed you how to tie-dye and reverse tie-dye. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to keep some work is beautiful.